Good on, mate. Here's what we got. Got the uh, all brass down in the bottom, very heavy. There's a cord that goes up to there, and the plug in is really old, made in the 1450s. Something very unique and never seen before. I thought I needed a little uh, check on if you want to deal with it. To not be the switch right here, which got a little touchy. So I'm going to replace that. Hit that switch and run it in here where it's like a starter. And it turns on all this right here. And I only gave 75 for it. You couldn't figure out why it wouldn't come on, but I got a fix. And this is one of those very, very rare. Mm. All right, brought it out here. I got an extension. So the base is still plugged in. Now I'll use some brass cleaner and clean it up and get a lampshade over this. 1940 something light fixture. Very unique and very rare. Sorry, there's no website about this. There's one on the vintage light. Popular in, in popular magazine. 1941. Now with that thing's off, we can get a good look at it. Especially when you don't see on these bulbs on the end of it, brass. So these things, these bulbs here have to be made in the 40s and 50s. And on this one here, it's the only one that had the print on it still. It's Sylvania with the old Sylvania logo. Well, that's what we have. We'll give you a, keep you briefed up on when they get this uh, brass cleaner and clean this up and find a shade over it. Very nice. All right, we discovered something really interesting about the bottom of this. Uh, these right here, your switches. Looks like your preheat. When you turn them on, you light both ends of this tube up. Turn it again to release the re preheat and light this up. However, if you don't want to do that, you can hook up to something really interesting. There's your ballast. And right there are your starters. But they are not usable because they're not hooked up. I don't think they've ever, ever been hooked up ever since. The original uh, setup. You want to set up to uh, automatic light up and you hit the button, it'll light up the whole thing without the preheat. I'm going to keep up a preheat just like that. So if you guys know what the ballast numbers are, let me know and I can update the uh, picture. Really nice. Like to know what brand is this? And of course, I change tubes on to save the brass ends, and yeah, they will light up the uh, green cap with the uh, Alto collection. 
original ballast knife. All right, got to plug me in. I'm going to preheat these up and get a lid up with the auto collection.